Uh, welcome everyone. I'm Vincent Obita and uh, uh, we are going basically to cover uh, the aspects of new OSCE for the assessment. I would uh, request all who are just joining the the Zoom meeting that uh, we can uh, mute all our audios so that we hear everyone, we hear the presentation. Then after that, or if there's any interjection, you can always pop your questions in the comment section and we we get along. In case of anything, just raise your hands. I'll also keep on coordinating along with uh, Zana and uh, we will be able to get along nicely. So today, basically, I'm going to cover a uh, new OSCE assessment and I'll be doing what we call assimilation. Uh, I mean, uh, I just do uh, assimilation of what usually happens in the OSCE center. Yeah. Then later on, we can do the video with an actual actor because already right now I have uh, the equipments. But right now, I'll just take you step by step what is expected of you. Yeah. Then later on, I'll do an explanation of all the actions I'll be doing uh, during this session. Okay. So these are these are a twenty minutes uh, station and uh, the beginning station of API, whereby you are supposed to capture all your all your information uh, that you will use both in your care plan implementation and evaluation so you should be very very key uh, thorough in your assessment and obtain all the information uh, that you require now for the new OSCE it's a bit different because the chart you will be using is the news chart okay for for almost all your scenarios except the neuro patients whereby you will be having a GCS score chart okay yeah that, the, <clears throat> I'll just mute all the microphones so that you are able to hear. Okay, I'll unmute later on when you are asking questions. Uh, now, uh, this is what is expected of you. The assessor will give you will give you all the equipment, read you all the instructions. Yeah, then you will have an actor. Yeah. Uh, you will have your PPEs on, gloves, mask, and apron, yeah, throughout the procedure. Though you will be verbalizing at every moment that I'll do hand washing without doing the actual hand washing, or removing the gloves and picking new one, or removing the apron without actual removal, yeah. So the assessor will guide you on the same. Don't be worried of that one, yeah. So this would be uh, the case scenario uh, for 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 OSCE assessment. So, for instance, uh, you check the scene for safety. My scene is safe to approach. You enter, do your hand hygiene using the seven steps of hand hygiene by WHO. Yeah. Uh, then, hello, I'm Vincent Obita. I'm one of the nurses going to take care of you uh, today. What's your full names? What are your names of birth? Can I confirm your hospital number? Usually the three ID checks, yeah? So, uh, can, uh, are you, do you have any allergies to medications? Any reaction, if there's any, ask any reaction. Are you allergic to plaster or latex or any food components? Are you in any pain right now? If the patient has any pain, headache, abdominal pain, rate it from a zero scale of zero to three or zero to, to ten, depending on your situation. Yeah. Then now that's when now you, you ask um, uh, for the new OSCE, you won't proceed to the assessment uh, directly. You will take a brief history. OK. And this brief history will include any. Do you have any underlying condition? The patient might say I've been hypertensive since two or five. Okay. Uh, are you on any medication for your hypertension? Yes, I'm on uh, bisoprol. I usually take this amount at this time. Yeah. Do you have any other underlying condition? Yes, I usually have arthritis. Are you on any medication? No. 
okay uh any other medication that you are having for prolonged term or um, for long term condition then the patient might state no yeah after obtaining that that small history then now you proceed you ask assessor assessor or prior to moving to assessor you will ask the patient do you have any rashes or any bleeding anywhere the patient might state there is no rashes there is no bleeding okay and remember this these questions will help you while you will be reporting your a b c d e yeah and that's what makes the new OSCE and the old OSCE different yeah so you are categorically having your question so after 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 the pain score ask for the medical uh, health condition any medication they are taking then now assessor can i confirm that uh, the urine output of my patient is satisfactory then the assessor will say yes can i confirm that the blood sugar levels are within the expected range then the assessor might say the, the last sugar level was uh, 7.2 then according to your knowledge of the expected range uh, you will state that that is within the expected range and i'm happy to proceed now that's when you state what you want to do to your patient hello jason i'm here to take a set of observations yeah then also just to obtain some information that will help us look after you uh, correctly is that okay with you consent gets in at that point yeah and uh, after that now you will just tell the patient i'll just prepare my equipment and get back in case you need me here is the call bell kindly press it and i'll attend to your needs then you usually just walk one step and have your equipment yeah so you do hand hygiene yeah then move to your to your preparation area what you do now do a, a full hand wash you tell the assessor even without doing i'll do full hand wash yeah put on an apron put on gloves assessor can i confirm that uh, uh, the equipments are clean and well calibrated they will give you a go ahead yeah so you will state that i will require I will require a blood pressure machine. I will require a, a tympanic thermometer. Uh, you will require a, a stopwatch. That is the nurse's watch, whichever is available. Yeah. And uh, gather all your equipment, then get back to the, and also you are, you are writing materials. That's the chart here you are having then you you can also have your a b c d e chart though it won't be marked but it can help you on anything that you might forget yeah uh, now after having or gathering all your equipment you just step back and get back to your patient hello i'm back are you happy we proceed with the with the observations okay that's all right then now uh this is now the implementation part of the assessment whereby you are going to take the vital signs now this is the method that i usually use and is applicable to everyone and uh, it can help you save time and what you are going to do is uh, start with the blood pressure so so jason my patient i'll assume is jason and jason i'm going to take uh, your I'm, I'm going to take your blood pressure which arm would you prefer then uh, he might provide the left then you ask is there any any surgery you've had on your left arm or any rashes or any swelling there's none then proceed place your cuff yeah and uh, know the technique of placing your cuff ensure it is covering and you talk to your assessor assessor will place the cuff on the upper arm two centimeters above the anticubital fossa and you demonstrate two centimeters are just your two fingers place them above the anticubital fossa place your cuff let the the pump line or the tube be at the uh, medial level at these points for you to get the correct reading and place it remove any sleeves or any clothing that might be there because you might receipt your exam for the same at that time after placing the cuff 
just alert the patient that you will get some tightness from your arm then start it yeah after starting the cuff go straight away to the to the oxygen levels jason i'll take your oxygen levels at the same time so i'll place just the 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 probe on your on your finger which finger would you prefer then uh, he, he or she can provide any of the fingers just take note of the fake nails or uh, anything uh, anything that uh, might be covering the might be covering the the skin uh, not the skin but the nail uh, nail bed usually in Oscar they can use some paper and strap it there let them just show their full nails and you can choose and explain the reason why you are not using the fake nails so that you obtain your correct reading so uh, i'll take your oxygen levels at the same time place the probe while the probe is there go to the third reading you are doing all this thing uh, spontaneously okay uh, along with this i'll take your temperature and i'll use one of your ears do you have any hearing aid uh, the patient can stay yeah i do have hearing aid on this side so would you mind i use the right side because of uh, uh, the reading i would uh, that is expected then the patient will give you a go ahead lift the ear ear lobe upwards and backwards to check for any wax in impaction or any blockade tell the assessor there is no wax there is no blockade and go ahead and uh, obtain obtain uh, the tympanic thermometer you place the ear probe and that's when you take it to the ear then go slightly inside the the ear canal press the uh, thermo uh, button and you will get your reading as you get your reading now that's when you start recording both the temperature the bp and the oxygen saturations at the same time yeah all along your BP and oxygen saturations were still reading, yeah? And remember you are very fast, so it would be uh, just okay. So at that time record your temperature is 36.8 and remember while stating any figure, state it as you write it down because the assessor is also writing it down. Then after that, that's the report you will give to both the assessor and the patient so the temperature is 36.8 you can state it 36.8 and your oxygen levels are 97 oxygen levels are 97 and here we are using scale 2 97 and your blood pressure here i will give uh, 150 over 80 150 over 80 for the news chart you just write the 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 figures it is 150 over 80 then now after having the blood pressure remove all these things put them back yeah then now you are remaining with the respiratory rate yeah and the pulse rate then now you will illustrate to your patient that just when i'm now going to take the uh, i'm going to take two uh, minutes to check your respirate uh, to check your pulse rate without uh, uh, without telling the patient that you are going to take the respiratory rate i'll take the two minutes to check your pulse rate i would require you to remain silent so that i concentrate on the counting is that okay with you in case you have any question you can ask it after that yeah then that's when you use your your nurse's watch or the the fob watch to count the pulse rate for one full minute one full minute then the, when the one minute is elapsed then now you take the remaining minute to check the respiratory rate without letting the patient know and with your fingers still on the on the on the on the on the radio artery the radio pulse i mean so at this time also show the assessor that you know what you are doing or else anything not verbalized or not shown uh, you are maybe you might just be doing your own things so you have to let the assessor assess i'm now going to check the patient's pulse rate 
and uh, here I've located the radio pulse and I'm starting to count. Then the assessor will count with you whether you've waited for one full minute and things of that kind, yeah? So that's the important importance of telling the assessor that I've located the radio pulse and I'm starting to count. So be very smart and wait for that one full minute, yeah? And just keep quiet. At that time, everyone will remain silent, including the assessor and the patient. Um, now, count your pulse rate. Yeah. Then the second minute, count the respiratory rate. Then when you are done with the full, two full minutes of 12 laps, when you are done, then now state them as you write the, them down. Uh, the respiratory rate... Respiratory rate uh, is usually on top of the of the news chart just here. So I'll give it. Uh, you will give it thirty two. I'll give it a thirty two. Then uh, for the for the pulse rate, we'll do seventy seven. Now with that one, you are done with the various aspects of. Um, of uh, this, uh, the vital signs. Now you will proceed to check uh, aspects such as uh, you've been communicating to this patient so you know the patient is alert, yeah? The assessor will also tell you whether the patient is on oxygen or not. If not, the assumption is the patient is on room air, yeah? And you will see. Uh, so you make adjustments to your, to your, to your news chat check for for on top we have the respirations or you can start straight away from the date the date today is fourth so zero four and the time is 14 19 14 19 you've have you've had your respirations you have had your spo2 you have under air you will place A, okay? Because the patient is on room air. Then blood pressure we've stated to be 150, 80. The pulse rate is 77. Under consciousness, your patient, you've been communicating, they are able to note their name, address, and things of that kind. So the patient is alert, so you put their A. Under temperature, we've placed 36.8. And now it's your time to calculate the news total. I'll leave the news total so that we can respond all of us. So you can calculate your news total as you go along. We have respirations of 32, SpO2 of 97, air is A, blood pressure is 150 over 80, uh, we have a pulse rate of 77. We have consciousness of A, alert, and temperature of 36.8. So what are your news score from that side? I'll just see if... I... What are your news score from that end? Anybody? Yes, can you can you just continue while you are continuing then we can translate because Okay, that's that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Okay, now after after recording all your after recording all your your findings then now this is the time also now you want to introduce the other aspect of um of reporting to the assessor, okay? Uh, while reporting to the assessor, now you will use the A, B, C, D, E, and that's where the new OSCE is different from the, from the old OSCE. Now, you will state to the assessor that the, the airway is clear as uh, the patient is breathing in and out and there's no obstruction. Under 
under under I mean under the under that point that's when we will also state that uh, uh, the breathing the respiratory rate was 32 yeah and I checked for the rate depth and rhythm and uh, the patient had uh, increased respiratory rate and things of that kind remember now you are reporting to the assessor and uh, from my case the patient definitely is having breathlessness so you can talk of such aspects okay and uh, under circulation uh, you will also report uh, the the bp you will state it the bp is 150 over 80 under circulation uh, the capillary refill time is immediate or you can say is within two seconds yeah uh, and the pulse rate is 86 yeah under disability you can talk of patient being uh, uh, being alert oriented to time place and person and things of that kind you can also talk of urine output that's why you talk to the assessor about the you ask the assessor about urine output so assessor the urine output is satisfactory the blood sugar levels are within the expected range under exposure the temperature of the patient is 36.8 and our patient is having no rashes there are no bleeding at any given point and assessor my new score is my new score is this then i'll be monitoring this patient every 30 minutes yeah every one hour or every four hourly depending on your new score yeah now that's where now the the presentation of uh, of the oscar ends yeah then at this time you just confirm you just confirm all your documentation right from the date all the way to the uh to the to the initials remember you have all your documentation then down here you state your news total i just write it down here then under urine output remember you ask it is satisfactory yes uh, satisfactory escalation of care is it required then i state whether it's a yes or no depending on the new score the pain score uh the pain score that if you are doing pain assessment you can place it there if it's uh, not uh, uh recommended under that point you won't place it then your initials vo vincent obita then with that one you just double check again remember for the for the assessment double checking your 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 recordings is a, is a very important element at that point you would uh, ask the patient any any concerns they have do you have any issue any question uh, if the patient is having medications you can that's the time maybe you can add other stories uh, how are you faring on with your medications are they controlling your blood pressure things of that kind depending on the scenario you are provided now that is for the news patient now let's say you are having a phq9 patient under the same assessment yeah the difference will come in under this discussion that you after this discussion you are having with the with the patient whereby you will have to pull a chair and discuss the result of that chart okay and uh, where you state that your new score is this i'll monitor you after every 30 minutes now in this case if it is phq9 your phq9 is 16 okay uh and i can see you have issues with sleep and things of that kind so you discuss all those element at that point but remember the only significant thing there is having a seat and discussing all that with the patient same to most yeah uh for same to most that is most and phq9 you have to sit down and discuss all your findings with your patient unlike the others that you keep on verbalizing and leave the station now let's stick to the news and uh, assume you are done with the presentation to the assessor then now you take all your equipments back 
as uh, then you tell assessor assessor will clean the equipments yeah uh, and make them ready for use remove your apron remove your gloves you will assume you are removing but typically you won't remove yeah do hand hygiene using the step, seven steps of hand hygiene then remember the camera is watching you so don't just do this and and uh, assume you are done with the hand hygiene they have to be systematic yeah with all that you will be done with your assessment so that's basically marks the news uh, the new oske assessment with uh, just additional things brought onto it